Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me for my video today. I really do appreciate it that you take a little time out of your day to spend with me. I've got a super cute card here and while this is kind of a shaker card, it's a different type of shaker card and I can't hardly wait to show you how to make this element. We've got our cute little party panda down here and I've got some tiny little googly eyes on him. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make this adorable card. The first thing I like to share with you is all the cardstock layers and their measurements. So if you want to recreate this card, you can write those down right off the bat. I've got a piece of lemon lime twist. This is going to be our card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. Then I've got a piece of whisper white that is four by five and a quarter. And this is for the inside of our card. A piece of Bermuda Bay that's also four and five and a quarter for the front of our card. A two and five eighths by two and five eighths inch square. Two strips of the per Picture Perfect Designer Series paper. These are both a half an inch wide and they just need to be longer than four inches. And two scraps, Whisper White and Lemon Lime Twist. And then this is one of our clear envelopes. And that's what I use to do the little um, faux shaker on the front of our card. Our clear envelopes come in a pack like this. You get 50 of them for $5. So it's a really good deal. And they're very high quality clear envelopes. You will find these if you're looking through your catalog on the same page with the rest of our vanilla and whisper white envelopes. So if you keep looking underneath the picture of the envelope, it says vanilla, whisper white, and then you'll see clear. And that's what these are. All right, let's get started here. I am going to take this layer. This is my Bermuda, Bermuda Bay layer, and I'm going to run it through the new scattered sequins embossing folder. This is one of our dynamic folders, which means it's super, super thick, and it makes a, like a 3D impression on your cardstock. And the one thing I want to remind you about is once you put your cardstock in here and you go to run this through your Big Shot, you're going to do it just like any other embossing folder except you only use one cutting plate on the top. You don't sandwich it between two. That's too thick because this is very thick. So just one plate on the top. I'm going to run this through and I'll be right back. And here we go. And I hope you can see this in the camera. I've shown this before, but these actually look like sequins. They're not just polka dots. They have a little hole, kind of a faux hole in the middle, and they have the little kind of hexagony edges on them, just like a real sequin. And this is really a pretty impression that it makes. We're going to take the Lemon Lime Twist card base, and I'm going to fold this in half and give it a good burnish with my bone folder. And we can go right ahead and adhere the front layer to our card base. My words seem to be getting stuck in my mouth. That's usually not a problem for me because I have all kinds of words flying out constantly, right? <laughs> okay, next. I am going to get the inside of my card stamped up. If you follow me, you know that I love to decorate the inside of my cards. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay ink here. The two stamp sets that I chose for this card. I'm using the Party Pandas. This is a celebration set. You get this free with a $50 order. So during celebration between now and March 31st, you get a free product for every $50 that you spend. And this is just the cutest thing. I've got, I've made so many cute cards with this that I will be sharing with you, so don't worry. Then I chose this amazing little stamp set. It's called Picture Perfect Birthday. It's a whole suite in our Occasions mini catalog. And I love the fonts on the words. And then there's some really fun elements in here. And I'm going to show you a few of them. So I took two different word stamps. I took the Today We Celebrate Wonderful, Brilliant, Fabulous You and the Happy Birthday and put them together on a single block so that I could stamp that just once. And I love being able to do that with our photopolymer or clear mount stamps sets. 
And then these two little strips are what I'm going to use to decorate the inside of this card. And these come from the Picture Perfect Designer Series paper. So I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive glue to my card top and I should say my inside layer top and bottom. And I'm just going to bring in my paper snips and snip that off. Oh, look, I did this earlier and I didn't like it. So there's that. <laughs> I had a little boo boo on that side. I love that we can use both sides of our cardstock, right? Now, because this paper, let me show that to you for a second. This is the Picture Perfect 6x6 paper stack. It's got cute designs on one side color coordinated, of course, with our Stampin' Up! colors, and then it's got these cute designs on the other side. We've got party hats, presents, balloons, streamers, cookies, more balloons, donuts, candles, confetti, party hats, and some polka dots. And because this all comes in the same suite, we also have this little stamp of sprinkles that you can use to dress up, and I use that because it coordinates with what I've done at the top and the bottom. And that is really one of the things that drew me to Stampin' Up! is the fact that all the products coordinate not only in color but also in images designs. And that makes it so much easier for me to create because I know that I can buy a suite of products and they're all gonna go together and make it so much easier. Okay, now, here comes the shaker part of this card, and I decided to use Bermuda Bay, and because it's got a kind of confetti in it, I chose the Cue the Confetti stamp for this. I thought that was pretty cute. And then there's some really neat things that you can do with these little elements. You see these little rectangles here? Those can be candles with the flame, or they can be that, those little party horns. And I'm gonna do the little party horn just to show you how that works. This is Pool Party Ink, and I'm gonna use the solid stamp, rectangle, or candle, whatever you wanna call it, and then I'm gonna come in with the polka dot Bermuda Bay and stamp that right over the top. There we go, and Next, I'm coming in with the little um, confetti blower thing that, you know, does the confetti blower things. <laughs> I'm using Berry Burst on that. And last, I chose Peekaboo Peach because it matches my sequins. And again, with that matching thing, right? And we have sequins that match our colors too. And you're just going to stamp that right on the end. And there's even some little notches to fit it in to those little confetti ends. Isn't that cute? So now we've got a horn blowing. Let me get these ink pads closed up so I don't drop my card in them. That's been known to happen a few times. Have you ever had that happen? I'm sure that you have. It's a little unnerving and it's also kind of a stamper's law that it only happens when your card is almost finished. <laughs> That's not funny, is it? No, it's not. Okay, here comes our panda from the Party Panda stamp set. These are the cutest little panda bears. I absolutely love them. I'm using Memento ink, and I'm just gonna stamp that. I'm gonna leave it there for just a second to let that ink absorb into the paper because I want my panda black parts to be really nice and solid. I don't want it to look like I don't have enough ink in my ink pad. So I took this, I colored in my hat with the Lemon Lime Twist and the Bermuda Bay Stampin' Right markers, and I cut out my little bear. And through the magic of TV, voila, I've already got that done. I wanted to show you how I put my little googly eyes on, I am going to just put the tiniest little dot of glue onto my panda bear's eyes 
and then I've got my little sticky tacky stick and this has a little bit of this glue it's just a wooden skewer you can get them at your grocery store I put a drop of glue on the end and quite a good size drop of glue and then I just let it set someplace to dry and now I've got this tacky little end on here that allows me to pick up all these tiny little things isn't that cool so you don't have to go to the store and buy a little tool you can just make your own And I love that because I lose things all the time. And if I happen to lose my little tacky stick, I can make another one. Yay! You don't have to feel like you've lost one of your great tools. Okay, so isn't that just the cutest? Who doesn't love googly eyes? Of course, we all do. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my bear, and I'm going to have him ready to roll. All right, now back to our little shaker. I chose to use the iridescent sequin assortment because, well, it's just really pretty. Oh, and my friend Candy made a card using a different stamp set. It's a little different, and she chose these, and I thought they were just so pretty. I am going to cut out a scallop square from the layering squares framelits. If you guys don't have these, you really do need them. Um, the layering circle squares and ovals are just my go-to almost all the time. I'm going to cut this out and I'll be right back and here we go we've got a cute little square that's ready to go it's gonna go behind our shaker now for this clear envelope so what I decided I did this a couple different ways just kind of trying it out but then I decided you can get two of these out of one envelope so if you buy a pack of these clear envelopes that means you can make a hundred of these shaker cards and I think that's pretty cool so I'm just going to take my envelope and I'm going to cut it apart. And I'm cutting it apart on two sides. I cut the tab off and now I'm gonna cut it apart on this side. And those big scissors, they don't like to go down into the corner of this stuff, so I just had to switch. There we go. Okay. We're gonna do one more cut here. There we go. So now I've got two pieces of clear envelope. I'm going to take my cue the confetti and I'm going to trim these up just a little bit because we do not need this big. You can do this in your paper cutter. You could cut both sides actually. Leave the envelope intact and just cut so it's bigger than whatever square you're going to put it over. And again, this square is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So I'd probably go three and a half square to make it work good. All right. I am going to do three sides of this, and all we're going to do is pretend like we're wrapping a present. So I've got some regular tape here from my little tape dispenser, and I'm just going to wrap a present on three sides. If you want to, you can do a little mitered edge on your corners, but I didn't see the need. Nobody's going to see the back of this. As long as your ends, these ends where you're folding aren't sticking out so you can see them in the front, you're in good shape. I left the top open so I can put some of these sequins in there. And I'm just going to kind of push it and hold it like that so it bows a little bit. And I'm going to tip it this way so they know that my little shaker or my little sequins go into the front of this instead of behind it because that would be dumb. <laughs> It just, you know, that's how I am. I just tell it like it is. That would be really a dumb thing to do. And also a dumb thing to do would to be to spill your sequins all over your table. Let's see if I can get this picked up quick. Well, <laughs> it's a lost cause. Do you ever have those days where just things like that happen over and over and over again? Isn't that cute, you guys? That is just so pretty and refreshing and cute. Remember, iridescent sequin assortment. Those are in the big catalog. They are just the prettiest little colors. And I'm gonna grab another piece of tape here, make sure that my edges, corners are tucked in so they're not sticking out. I don't want them to stick out in the front here. I love it. Okay, now, how do you glue this to this? 
regular glue like this, it doesn't really like the um, acetate of these envelopes. So it's best to have a tape runner. And I'm just going to put tape on my oval. You could also use fast fuse if you, oval, on my square. You could also use fast fuse if you wanted to. And I'm just going to put this right in the middle, center that, super cute. Now we're gonna use our glue to attach the cardstock to cardstock. This is really coming together. And where did my little panda bear go? Oh, here he is. Here's my little panda. I'm gonna get this backing off. And I'm gonna put him right over here because he looks like he's over here dancing, having a little party. Make sure that stays down. And last but not least, I just felt like my card needed a little something. So I chose this 3 8 inch mini striped ribbon, and this is in the Occasions Mini Catalog, and it's lemon lime, and it matches my card. And again, matchy, 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 right? So easy to create when you have matching products. Little snip there, little snip there, and has anybody seen my glue dots? There they are. Here we go. Blue dot. Oops. Let's try it again. Blue dot. There we go. Put that right down here at the bottom. My friend Candy had hers laid out like this too. There we go. What do you guys think? Is that not the sweetest? It, and it's so easy. It's just so easy. This is a super cute card. Okay. I have one other card to show you. Let me get my mess cleaned up here. And again, another panda card. I used Little Dancing Panda Guy because, well, I love him and he's fun. And I also use that Picture Perfect Designer Series paper. These are party hats. The same 3 8 inch striped lemon lime ribbon. And here's the inside of my card. Happiest of birthdays to you. Now, who wouldn't want to get these cute little birthday cards? Again, panda free with your $50 order. I just can't say enough about it. I've had a blast with it. And you are going to see a lot more coming to you from me using the stamp set. Thanks so much again, you guys. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I'd be happy to send you hard copies of the catalog if you don't have them. And I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.